guys pad sanitary pad in ghana is now 20 cds why why is sanitary pad 20 cds like where did that come from hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new on this channel my name is ijoma this is sincerely ij please don't make this your last time visiting me in fact subscribe to my channel like this video share with your friends leave your comments below um yeah do all the good stuff you do to people's videos do it over here too right so this video is a rant video i am so livid i know it does not show on my face that i'm living but trust me i am so angry this morning it's not even 11 a.m but i'm angry i'm so disappointed this morning i just closed from church and i decided to go and buy some things which i need for myself my upkeep i was going to get sanitary towels sanitary pad and i walked into the shop and i picked um yas sanitary pad where is it this one i went to buy yas yas you guys can you see yas sanitary pad i went to get yas and i entered into the shop i picked it up i didn't check the price i was buying my other stuff when i got to the counter it, they and they gave me my bill it didn't make sense to me i was like what is it that has just made everything just go up because i bought like four things or five things and i asked them how much is this they mentioned how much is this i got to the yes how much is the yes 20 cds guys pad sanitary pad in ghana is now 20 cds why come on what <clears throat> why why is sanitary pad 20 cds like where did that come from i was shocked to be honest i started thinking if even me i'm working i have a job i'm complaining about sanitary pad 20 cds how are people on the streets buying pad for 20 cds how are they able to afford 20 cds sanitary pad how are they able how are streets women how are students in school your parents will give you money to go to school if you're in a, a, a boarding house and then you have to take some out of that to buy sanitary pad 20 cities now i know a lot of people out there this is nothing to you but for me i think this is something important we need to talk about and find ways and means to to like not allow this happen yes it has happened but let's not let's not let it stay let's not allow it to stay because sanitary towel for 20 cities actually if it's something i didn't ask for i didn't ask to be a girl i didn't ask to menstruate every month it's something that is natural it's part of a woman am i bugging or is this ridiculous please if this is ridiculous please leave your comments below and tell me i'm not bugging because i just do not understand and yes sanitary pad yes yes sanitary pad is a, a locally manufactured product if the locally manufactured products are this expensive now imagine the imported ones nah like this is not cool at all i know that i can't make that change happen but i think this is a doing this video is a step in the right direction what can we do how can we come together to you know make it easy for people who can't afford because trust me some people can't even afford three square meals some people can't can't even afford one meal in a day and if you're a woman and you're menstruating you're going to tell somebody who is barely living to survive to buy sanitary towel for 20 cities now so if i don't know i just felt this sense of responsibility because if i have a platform like this and i'm not talking about things like this why do i have such a platform and i would like to chip in here that in the year 2023 my youtube channel is going to go into that direction a little bit like talk about social issues things that things that i see the injustice the injustices in the system how they are like making it so hard for the regular Ghanaian African as a person to even live so yes I'm still going to be doing my movie reviews books faith-based content vlogs and all that but I think that this is also a very important part of this is I feel that sense of responsibility so if you're on board I think that let's come together let's figure out a way to help people who cannot afford 
buying sanitary pad for 20 cities because this is ridiculous you cannot tell a hawker you cannot tell somebody who is living from hand to mouth to buy and for me normally i buy things in bulk so for sanitary pad i buy i like to buy it in bulk and you know when you buy it in bulk you don't really know how much one is because you're buying it in bulk so today it was impromptu like you know the tmi by the way i decide like my messages came out of nowhere i don't know sometimes when i'm really stressed my cycle changes so and i didn't have any at home i'd already planned to buy it in bulk like I, I usually do so that's why after church i went to buy it and i picked one and yet to it come on come on this is too much the government has to do something about it because maybe they have to look for a way to um make make it free for girls especially people on the streets people who don't have food to eat like people who are struggling to eat to take care of their children and then reduce it for for even us because me at that i'm working you I don't know how I'm able to buy sanitary pad for 20 cities. This is ridiculous. This is not something I asked for. Like I said, I did not ask to be menstruating every month. This is this is like a package that comes with being a girl, that comes with being a woman. So I don't know. I don't want to feel entitled and say that yes, the government has to do this. This is not a I'm not blasting the government because yeah, but at the same time, they also share in they also share that responsibility because if a locally manufactured products like Yaha sanitary pad is selling for that high maybe the government has to do something about maybe they have to reduce the logistics that they use to produce this pad like reduce the cost of it i don't know do something like let's do something instead of thinking about going to build a cathedral or something these are very very important pertinent issues that the government really really needs to look at if i scratch that it is your responsibility i was trying to be diplomatic but no it is your responsibility the government really has to do, do something about this i don't care if it's mpp in power ndc in power whoever is in charge of the government has to really really do something about it because it's too much but in the meantime if you feel like because i'm thinking of um I don't know maybe buying some in bulk sharing it to people street kids like people who need it and if you feel that you want to be a part of that i don't know when i'm going to do that but it is something that it's now is on my heart and i feel like i should yes i just have this sense of responsibility towards it so if you're my friend or if you watch this channel and you're not even my friend you just watch and you feel that you also need to be a part of it and you want to be a part of it please leave your details like let me know and let's come together to help people okay like let's help people people who can barely eat i don't want this video to be long so i'm going to end it here and say that i'll be back again with another interesting video so you guys should expect more of these um rant videos about our society in 2023 okay guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave your comments don't don't, don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to like this video don't forget to share this is a very important message so i think you should share so that the right people will come across it and decide to, you know what i think this is a good good cause so let's join our hands to make this work <sighs> i did it okay guys so i'll see you in my next video Bye. Mwah.